Juli, Julia, što môžete skazať o sarvenovaní Pavlu Čilovská, ak vychateľa, tak či česky? Julia, what you can say about the competition? Was it as you planned and concerning also your tactics and as you wanted the race will go? Yes, it was as we planned. Everything went well according to our plan and I must be satisfied with what happened. Habiba Gribi, for many a big surprise winning this medal. Big congratulations once again. What are the comments after the race? Je suis très contente pour cette deuxième place et je suis très contente pour la Tunisie. C'est une, une grande victoire pour moi aujourd'hui et pour le peuple tunisien. Donc, it's a great day today. It's a victory not only for me, but it's for all Tunisia. And I'm very glad, very happy for this challenge I took. Et je l'offre pour tous les Tunisiens, pour tout le monde arabe et et j'ai dû travailler très très dur pour euh, réussir et voilà je, je suis très contente. I worked too hard to get to that level and I'm very really very happy. Après une année d'absence, euh, une opération que j'ai subie l'année 2010 donc euh, c'était très très difficile pour moi pour revenir à ce niveau. I had surgery and I stayed for one year with no practicing. So it was not easy for me to rebuild myself. Mais avec beaucoup de souffrance, beaucoup de volonté et beaucoup de sacrifice, j'ai réussi à être au niveau. Voilà. It was with suffer. Okay, thank you very much. Merci. And Milka, what is your comment on the race? Personally, I love what to say, but I thank God for the position I got it and for my country I thank them for I'm sure they were expecting me to get something good for them but they have to accept as I have accepted and to God willing maybe next year I'll do good. Thank you even people from media group I thank you all for I have come from far and I thank God that uh, this far that I have reached it is all because of you that you have even made me to be known to the world and I thank you all. Thank you very much. Questions please? <coughs> to our sticker chasers. Yes, David Monty here. This, this question is for our champion, Julia. You've had a tremendous last two years, the silver in Berlin, you won the European title. How has your life changed with all this success? Are you still the same person you were? Julia, you have been in the last two years, you won the gold in Berlin, then you won the Europe, then you are today a champion of the world. Has it changed anything in your life? Или вы это самый человек, как был? Я остаюсь такой же, как была, просто это мои победы э, придают мне уверенность, и по ступенькам я поднимаюсь ближе к олимпийским играм. И все идет по плану. Yes, it's the plan. It's going towards the Olympic Games, step by step, uh, with my victories, and of course, I think I'm still the same person as I was before, and nothing major changed. Yes, please, more questions? Yes, there. Uh, this question is for our champion. Uh, Yulia, uh, could you tell us a little bit about how you chose to start running the steeplechase? Можете что-нибудь сказать, как вы сделали, что будете бегать steeplechase? Почему и когда это стало? Uh, я перешла к своему тренеру в 2008 году, ну, Кузнецову Михаилу Павловичу, и 
Я, меня как бы не попадала я в сборную, когда я бегала 800 метров после родов, это очень было тяжело. И мы решили попробовать 3000 метров с препятствиями для того, чтобы удержаться в сборной. И мне понравилось бегать эту дистанцию. Она интересна тем, что непредсказуема. Это препятствие, яма с водой. Интересно. Постоянно меняется ритм бега. Yes, it was. Uh, I was running 800 meters and middle distances, and after 2008, I, I came back to my former coach Mikhail Kuznetsov, and he proposed to me to change to the steeple chase, and and that was it. Uh, the main reason behind was that I could stay a national team member, and that was through a steeple chase. And of course, uh, I like it, and uh, it's very interesting for me with the barriers, with water barrier, with everything what is around. So now I, I like it and it's my event. Yes, at the end there, France Radio. I know it already. <coughs> A question for Habiba Hanibi. When, uh, when you say, uh, uh, I'll say it in English and then in French if you want. Uh, when you say you dedicate it to the Tunisian people, we are all aware of the revolution and what's happened there. Do you have that in particular in mind? Was that a motivating factor? When you say that you dedicate it to the Tunisian people, do you think about this revolution and all this energy? Is that a factor in your incredible course? Oui, bien sûr. Euh, quand je dis pour le peuple, c'est vraiment euh, avec tout cœur. Donc j'ai pensé à tous les Tunisiens qui ont souffert dernièrement. I was thinking while I'm running by the Tunisian who suffered a lot during the, the revolution. Et j'ai dû travailler très très dur euh, en pensant toujours à mon pays de réaliser quelque chose d'exceptionnel. My objective was to give a gift to the people of Tunisia. And I worked very hard to honor my country. It was a very, very good victory for me and for Tunisia and for the Tunisian people. I hope I gave a great smile and I'm very happy. I hope that I brought a smile to all Tunisian people through my victory. But is it a victory? Oui, euh, c'était dur pour moi au début de l'année parce que c'est passé, euh, j'étais sur place en Tunisie et j'ai dû euh, un peu, euh, j'ai vu un peu ce qu'ils ont vécu tous les Tunisiens. I was in Tunisia during the revolution, and I saw what they suffered. Après, j'ai décidé de travailler aussi en pensant que en oubliant aussi la révolution parce que pour moi c'est c'était quelque chose d'exceptionnel de vivre tout ça. Et voilà, j'ai pas j'ai pas arrêté de penser à travailler dur pour pour mon objectif en fin d'année. Voilà, donc, euh, je suis contente. But the way to get to the victory is to work hard. You know, revolution is my, in my heart, but I have to work too hard, too much hard, to get to that level. Okay, thank you very much. Here, please, in the first row. Um, just on that same issue, maybe she can talk. Uh, one of the things I live in Dubai, and, and uh, one of the things we see is that athletes have been affected by different revolutions in Bahrain and uh, Egypt and different places. For her, how did the revolution affect her training and, and did she take part? Was there, was she conflicted? I mean, did she think, well, maybe I shouldn't take part or I should? I mean, maybe she can talk a little bit more about like, you know, what she did during the revolution and how it affected her preparations for the championships. Yes. If you want to talk about the revolution, not only in Tunisia, but in the world entire Arab, Oui, je sais pas. La Tunisie, elle a donné peut-être une une porte pour tout le monde arabe pour. Tunisia was the gate to the whole Arab world revolution. 
je suis fière de mon pays, tout le peuple qui a souffert et tous les, je pense à tous les, les, toutes les familles qui ont perdu leur membre de leur famille. Donc, je pense très très fort à eux. I'm proud of my country and I'm proud of what is happening now in all over the world, Arabic world, and I'm, I'm still. I think my heart is still beating for those who sacrificed their life for the revolution. Thank you very much. <coughs> Questions, please? Uh, David Monti, yes. Um, Yulia, could you tell us, please, where you're living and training? And what is your husband's name? Can you tell us where you're living, where you're training, and how do you call your husband? Мужа зовут Ильдар, он сам с Казани, я туда тоже переехала с Волгограда. На сбор в основном лето проводим в Чебоксарах, но к чемпионату мира мы готовились в Кисловодске на Олимпийской базе. Ильдар, так? А? Муж Ильдар? Ильдар. Ильдар. Ильдар – это первое имя мужа. Потом они живут в Казани. She moved to him, to Kazan, and but usually she trains in Cheboksari. But they had the main preparation for these championships at the Olympic base in Kislovodsk. Now, please, from Tunisia, yes, please, the microphone. Habib, quelle est la différence entre la Habib de Berlin 2009 et la Habib d'aujourd'hui, et comment tu as vécu les dernières heures avant la course aujourd'hui au village? Uh, the question was about uh, what's the difference between Habib in 2009 in uh, Germany and uh, Daigo 2011. Je suis la même. J'ai rien changé, sauf que cette année c'était pour moi c'était exceptionnel parce que je voulais vraiment revenir à mon niveau et. There's no major change in Habiba, maybe this year my ability was stronger. And I worked a little more hard than in 2009. Berlin gave me really confidence in me and I knew that I could be among the best in the world and I worked for that. I managed to do it. Berlin was a step. Daigo is the second step. Okay, thank you very much. The last question here. Um, just the kind of same question as before. Could she talk about how? Could she talk about how the revolution affected her training? And did she take part? Did she go into the streets, or what did she do during the revolution? Was she in the country? Durant la révolution en Tunisie, comment vos entraînements ont été programmés? Comment le niveau d'entraînement? Euh, J'ai vécu euh, le moment de la révolution. Euh, c'était pour moi c'était très difficile parce que je pouvais pas couper mes entraînements euh, durant la révolution. It was very hard during the revolution and I was obliged sometimes to stop training. Et c'était difficile parce que c'était vraiment j'ai vécu la, la révolution au stade, je m'entraînais et il y avait I, I, I still remember while I'm training at the stadium, there is fires everywhere, and while I was running. Et après j'ai décidé de sortir parce que je pouvais pas vraiment couper mes entraînements. Then, je suis en then, then I decided to leave Tunisia, go to France, to finish, to accomplish my training. Parce que j'habite en France, donc. As you know, I have a second house in France, so I'm living to in France. Okay. Thank you very much. Big congratulations once again to Julia